I'm Johnny, and it's time for customization. I was gonna start this out by doing a lot of talking about Emacs, because Emacs is this text editor that computer guys like me use. It gets really computer guy -y. Like really deep into the computer guy, blah, blah, blah. In fact, I'm not even going to show you a screenshot. It's just too much. But there's something about Emacs that is inherently special. It's got this thing ironically called the quality without a name. It has a methodology. It has an idea behind it that's really quite powerful. And I bet you probably guessed what that is. Customization. Absolutely everything about it is 100% customizable. So I'm not gonna talk about Emacs though. Tips for single guys from Justine. Just go up and fucking say hello. I am gonna talk to you about two things that I built in the last week and change. There are two devices for Ableton. One is called the Loop Tempoinator. If I have a breakbeat and it's chopped into quarter note segments, sort of like this, 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 and this, so I got these four pieces, I can stitch them up in any way I want, but I can also change the tempo. You can change the tempo by varying the pitch. Normally I have to do this manually. This thing does it all automatically for me. Because I'm using this thing called Max for Live, I built it, that's what I'm talking about. When the creator has the ability to create the tools that they use for their creations, that's powerful. And that's connected to the quality without a name. If you can create the tools, if you can mix your own paints, for instance, the whole palette range that you have available to you is just completely out of sight. Well, not literally, like you have to be able to see the colors. Likewise goes with music. If you can change the tools that you use to make music, if you can make new tools to make music, that's huge. There's an entire new level of creativity. There's like a meta creation going on. So I've meta created this thing to help me work with breakbeats. In fact, I'm really excited about this one because this is one of the things that's always bugged me about Ableton Live is that it should be able to do this really easily, but it doesn't, not in the way that I work with breakbeats. So why is this? And then I actually sat down and made it. Now, the other thing that I built has a much less cool name. I call it the Node Explorer. You know how I'm always drawing these little circles over here with all kinds of notes and there's colors and stuff and sometimes the bunnies are in there? Yeah, okay. So for Ableton, what I've done is that when a note comes in on Ableton, it blinks a little light on the tone wheel so that it's really easy to see the kind of note shapes, chord shapes that I'm always talking about. Now, instead of it just being like written on a notebook, well, here it is. And in fact, let's just play the bunny bass line, which you might remember from a few videos ago, through this thing and see. I wanna polish this off more, but both of these things are available for download if you happen to use Max for Live in Ableton. But this is not about those things. This video blog is about encouraging you in whatever creation you do to explore the possibilities of being able to create your own tools. Because tool creation gives you a deeper insight into the works that you build, can give you a lot deeper flexibility. All right, before I sign off, there's a new project I'm working on. You might remember in a previous video, there was this package of papers from the bus stop that was kind of weird. I want more weirdness. If you see any sort of print media that is just completely off the wall crazy, I'm talking like conspiracy pamphlets from guys hanging out in front of city hall with like two crazy hair. I'm talking chick tracks. I'm talking just the weirdness of the weird. Send it to me. It can be scanned. Hell, you can send me snail mail if you want, but I want your print weirdness. There's only one rule to this. It has to be weird. And remember kids, customization is fun.